Did Maiden Mike just take a trip to Antarctica? Or did Antarctica just land in Maiden Mike's world? Stay tuned. Tell you all about it right after this. sisters welcome back into maiden mike's world for a very special presentation of the long-awaited penguin finally somebody i mean sideshow finally has done a penguin and he's badass i mean Take a look. We're gonna we're gonna rip them apart. But before we start, I have to say my blessings. Hope you guys are all well and safe. Uh, it's been a busy time, always for me, and Mike. But anyway, guys, pretty excited. I'm sure a lot of you are excited about this piece coming out because it's a rare character. I mean, we just don't see him enough. That's why I'm, I mean, is he my favorite villain? No, of course not. You guys know I got 50 Jokers in here and Harleys, but he definitely is one that's much more deserving of a piece popping out every five, 10 years. But hopefully this starts a trend with all the guys that have been ignored throughout our industry over the last 10 years. So I'm going to keep this short, guys. We're going to dive in. We're going to check them out. And you guys tell me if the five, 10 year wait in between penguin statues was worth it. Let's dive in. Let's check them out. There you go, guys. Take a quick look at the box. Nothing on the side. Like the little cobwebs and stuff above it. Looking nice. Alright. Let's crack them open. There he goes, guys. All these little pieces in here. Uh, let's get them together. Let's see how he looks. That's the way they packed him. Looks pretty good. Looks like everything is all in uh, one piece. Let's check him out. Okay, guys. There he goes. Full view. Penguin. All right. Uh, just a heads up for you guys that are going to receive this. Or you guys that are thinking about receiving this. This statue is gonna have to be displayed up high for you because of his downward look. Now this is just a straight on shot. So if you don't display him up high, he's gonna kinda get lost on you. So, so start clearing out some room on your top shelves. Start maneuver, uh, maneuvering some statues around and uh, Make room for the penguin. Let's go get him. All right. Looking good. A lot of nice wrinkles in there, scars. T 
teeth look great. Like the veins in the face or whatever. I mean, Sideshow uh, gave him lots of craters, man. <laughs> Nose is nice and pointy the way it should be. Got that real uh, cartoon look. Comic book, half, whatever. Looks good though. The, uh, the wire is posable from his glasses, so you can move that around any way you want. Uh, it doesn't come off his face though. way let's get into the eyes and see how they did the eyes oh yeah let's get in a little closer look at all that detail nice a lot of nice wrinkles in there all right let's swing them around let's get a look Ears. Stuff feels like real fur. <laughs> it's nice and weathered. The jacket. I know you guys like sculpt. Some of you like sculpt. So I'm like mixed media. This is fine. You should compose it the way you want it. I like it. I like it. All right. Nice looking top hat. old white dust or uh, will be blown away when I'm finished when he's ready to go up for display all right let's take a, a ride down this is all sculpted right here so it's it's done really nice the shirt Sculpted. Now he is extremely heavy. The base is extremely light, but he is really heavy. So, just so you guys are aware, I like the way they have a little bit of stomach showing, gut bulging out. Pants sculpted. Clothes are sculpted, weathered really nice. Looks good. Has that wet look. Swing around the back of his jacket. His clothes were all weathered pretty nice, ripped. Torn. Not really a lot to dissect here, guys, because he's such an, uh, a 
a squished pose, which is good. I mean, I like them, you know, penguins are supposed to be short and stocky. So, I mean, they followed, they followed the plan. Let's dive into this base. Base will probably be a little more to talk about than this. Okay, all this is your PVC plastic stuff. I think that's what makes it light, but I can see how they want to do that. Okay, the penguins on the base actually, to me, kind of make this statue special. Uh, I love the way they're, they got battle scars on them too, just like their father. <laughs> the top ones are solid. Uh, the one underneath the base is very, very light plastic, but I can see why they would do that. Penguins look really good. Water looks nice and dirty and you got a rat in there coming out of his hole. Look at all the penguins for you guys. They all individually uh, magnet in. I really like this one. I like the, the slices in it. to the back one more time. All right. Let's get underneath the base from behind first. I like this guy, I like the way they put him underneath, swimming along. You got skulls and bones underneath the base. That nice green algae look. It's been building up there for years. I like that. I thought that was pretty cool that they did that. The penguin's feet underneath. I thought that was, I mean, I probably would have never even thought of that. But I thought that was pretty cool. All right, let's get a look at this penguin. He's extremely light. He's almost like a plastic PVC. The other ones are solid. But he looks cool. I can see how they wanted to do that uh, for the weight issue, I would, I would think. And all the keys, the magnets are really, really good on every one of these, uh, every one of the pieces on this statue. So it comes the body, the four penguins, the base, the head. All right, guys, hope you like them. Remember, 
pose them up high. It'll give you a nice look. All right, guys, tell me what you think. Till the next video, you guys stay safe. Peace, my brothers and sisters. I'm out.